Hey everyone, today I created a new utility that will allow you to more easily install Windows XP from the win from the Windows pre-installed environment. Now you might be asking, why would you want to do this? Well, for one, it'll make it easier, f or for it, it'll make it easier for you to uh, install Windows XP from a USB flash drive, since those ISOs tip those typically don't play well with USB. USB flash drives, at least more modern USB writing utilities. That's the main reason I wanted to make this tool. And I will show you how to use it. By the way, you can get this tool from the link in the description below, or, or there's a demo ISO you can get too, which also has a link in the description. Uh, what? Give me a second. Okay, so apparently VirtualBox didn't want to behave, so we're, we're gonna be using VMware for this video. Now, this installation is, utility is pretty simple. It's not do any configuration of its own, besides... things, I guess. Well, besides the necessary things. So, let's navigate to our... CD drive, and then run install.bat, and it brings us to disk part. Uh, this is actually required to partition the disks. You can't just exit because it'll leave you with an error. So let's partition the disks. Now first you want to. Oh. Sh okay. So apparently uh, the official Windows PE. E uh, things uh, do not support VMware's SCSI controller so I changed the controller to IDE and now everything should work now so let's go to our CD drive or our USB drive and then run install.bat and then yeah we can see disk disk 0 we want to install on disk 0 so select disk 0 and then, actually, I'm just gonna create a new partition. So, yeah, create a pr a primary partition, and then format it to NTFS. And then assign it to the C drive. And now we can begin our Windows XP installation. And of course, we need our product key. Luckily, I have mine with Ina handy. So. Alright, now this is optional, but I'll just install support for a East Asian languages, and from this point it will copy the Windows XP files, or the installation files rather, to the, to the hard drive. Now keep in mind that this is version 1.0 of the Windows XP installer for WinPE utility. He, so uh, keep in mind that if you're if you're watching uh, in the future, if you're watching this in the future, then uh, various minor improvements may have been made to the utility. And we then wait for it to exit. And from here, we no longer need 
the source drive as a uh, everything everything that was ne everything needed was copied over to the hard disk now you can go through windows xp setup as normal and uh enjoy your new installation once it's finished uh, yeah, I'm going to proceed to after the XP install is finished, since this is no different from it, just doing a regular install of Windows XP, so... And there we go. It's not much different from a from a regular Windows XP install, but in the in the future I might actually add support for other versions of Windows. That would be neat. But as of now, this just supports Windows XP. But I think you get the gist of it. But so that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please leave a like on this video. And also subscribe to the channel. It's free. This is NTVMB, signing out.